a typical Monday in Ukraine be like? Mondays be like in Ukraine. Okay, if you're seeing my pajamas, but also you hear a raid alarm, just as the missile forecast predicts us. My name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country during this awful war with Russia, but we will win, of course, no matter what they do to us. But we all know that Mondays are complicated days in Ukraine because of missile forecasts. To tell you the truth, these missile forecasts to some extent are more accurate than weather forecasts. For example, yesterday we were supposed to have sun and it was pretty dark and windy. And today we were supposed to have Russian orcs attacks and now we have lots of missiles targeted on Ukraine. How it all happens? Well, you have your plans, you believe that maybe this Monday will be a different Monday and then you hear the sounds of air raid alarms, which mean you have to hide which also means that perhaps despite the perfect work of Ukrainian air defense system, many of the missiles will still target various important infrastructure objects. Up to 70% of missiles we are able to stop, but 30% is enough. Right now, just as a typical, once again, forecast, I read in media, in various telegram channels, where we have these missiles, what planes, what ships are carrying them, where they are located and when will they target, uh, according to the calculations, various places in Ukraine. This is nothing else by te uh, than terror, because Russia is a terrorist state and it uses its weapons to terrorize the world and Ukraine, to destroy civilian infrastructure and to spoil lives of people during this cold winter. But what is even worse, this is a terrorist act that continuously repeats itself in online regime. Like everybody in the world, because of modern technologies, because of the work of intelligence services, and also because Russians do not hide what they are doing, can observe online what is happening right now and uh, how dangerous that is. And later we'll observe what happened to Ukraine, which missiles reached the targets which did not. I think this is very wrong. This is so wrong that a country capable of such actions still exists. And sometimes we're not, like all the time, we're not allowed to target their military objects, even, even military objects. Ukrainians would never attack civilian objects because we are not orcs. We don't fight against children, women, libraries, hospitals and schools. Something that Russians do repeatedly and daily causing thousands of deaths. And right now, all the world knows that 164, it seems to me today, not 70, but 164 missiles are targeted on Ukraine. They are located in various parts of Russia, in the Caspian Sea, uh, somewhere else. I'm not very good at these locations, but you can find that online in trustworthy services, not just like people's speech. And uh, I'm talking to you during this air raid alarm and we even have focus for each region. When will they likely reach, I don't know, Vinnytsia? When will they likely reach Kyiv? When will they likely reach um, Volyn? And of course, they will target our infrastructure. Once again, terrorism, nothing else. Because what do they win by destroying our electricity? They want to push us to negotiate. We do not negotiate with murderers, mass murderers. So they will not achieve anything except for they will leave people in darkness, in cold, in problems, trying to break their morale. And once again, they will fail because we are not miserable Russians. We are Ukrainians, you know, and we are supported by the world. We are very grateful to that. But Today I have this like <laughs> very weird feeling. Here I am sitting in my home, charging all the electricity, electrical gadgets like my phone, like power bank, like a torch that I'm using because it is very likely I will not have electricity in the evening. Maybe there will be some bad news that I will try to reach and tell you, but I hope I won't. And this vlog will be just one vlog for today. Um, but like I'm a realist at the same time, I'm a mixture of an optimist and a realist. And I realize this is so wrong. 
that everybody in Ukraine, everybody outside the world knows that a terrorist Russia has targeted 164 missiles that are now flying or will soon be flying in the direction of various civilian and infrastructure objects in Ukraine. And what do we do in Ukraine? We get prepared. Some of us go to bomb shelters, others charge electricity devices save water, I don't know, uh, record vlogs and upload them before uh, <laughs> something happens. And the world is also watching where will they target, will Ukrainian air defense system manage to stop the majority of missiles, how serious this future infrastructure damages will be. This is not normal. Terrorists cannot run the world. And like observing, war online, observing destructions online, observing... I think there are people right now who maybe record something on their phones and then they won't be leaving in the evening because of Russian missiles. And that's not normal. I know that you understand me pretty well. Do share my videos if you like them and subscribe to the channel because I believe the world needs to know so much more about Ukraine and our life. And later after the victory, we'll talk about beautiful culture and history because there are a lot of things to learn. But right now, we need your attention. We need your support. We need to stop Russian terrorist state and to stop Putin until it is too late, not only for Ukraine, but also for the world. The fact that we all wait for missile attack forecast, we all accept that, we all adapt to that, we try to survive and the rest try to see what will happen, because this happens repeatedly, this is very much wrong. I know that you share my opinion. Thank you so much for being with me and with Ukraine during these dark times, literally dark times. Thank you for buying me coffees. Thank you for becoming my patrons. Yes, today I congratulated my cousin with his birthday. And he told me like, the presents are already flying to me. So the presents are, al presents are already flying. But of course, they will not break us. They will not us stop us. But the problem is that they destroy us. Building by building, person by person, story by story. And we have to fix this experience too. Thank you for your understanding, how important that is. Thank you for your support and let's hope that I won't have any news this evening, later. Because right now we are waiting for something to happen. We are waiting that the skies will bring us something bad. We are waiting that at least we will not have electricity or mobile or internet. And now it's like 2.30 p.m. and I'm recording this video and I will upload it. Elia. Thank you so much for watching. A strong virtual hug from Ukraine and let me know what other Ukrainian words you would like to learn in my new project Ukrainian Word of the Day. Slava Ukraina!